new concept kind of uh, gonna do a slow roll down this will primarily be just red and black and white I want to show you how it's got started so there were several drawings and directions and uh, move things around to see what made sense to me. Um, this is kind of how things start. Now I'll probably add more legs and depending on, you know, just the way I work, I'll change things up. Okay, so um, this is my next adventure. Um, decided to do just a black everything except for one main character um, and I thought uh, upset Pacific Ocean <laughs> uh, octopus would kind of do it now I'm not sure exactly how things are now I did kind of like the remnants or the beginning stages of uh, coral in the background uh, I'll go into that more now, I, my thought is wherever the coral is getting close near the octopus, the octopus will change colors. So that's the idea behind this. Um, right now, I'm going to um, come into this just a little bit. So I'm using kind of the same red and I'm adding a little bit of black or Payne's gray to it just to give it and now this will be slowly pulled up with layers eventually so I'm just kinda giving it more texture going around some of those lights and darks and I'll go back into this more and pull out and come back in and kinda redo this um, just kinda give you a little so right now I'm kinda just digging in and pulling out textures I'll see where the lights and darks are and go back into that um, this is kind of a, a weird process uh, mainly because um, I'm, I'm trying to make shadows but not go into them too much because I still need to work out so in other words this needs to be darker here uh, now I'm not going full bore because I want to leave a reflect light and different things like that but I want to make a separation between this the body and the, the leg now there's only one two three four five legs coming so Octopus have eight, of course, oct. Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to put more, but there may be. Um, it's just a work in progress, so it's kind of one of those things that where things will grow as time goes on. But I just wanted to show you the process of how I got here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So... Like I said, I'm just looking for little teeny things that I'm using a, a, a kind of a large brush here. Now they kind of form and transform their bodies to do amazing things, change color. Um, they, they disguise themselves to look like coral or rock or whatever. Um, another fascinating thing about uh, some species of octopus, they're poisonous. Uh, they have a beak. The rest of their whole body is kind of like jello. It can move into different forms. Um, but that's the beauty of this intelligent creature. So you can see I'm just kind of doing my 20 cups of coffee technique of scribbling as I'm painting. This keeps everything loose and flowing. This is going to be a part one. Um, so I'm just getting heads up of what's going on right now at this point and how I got here. 
And this is the way I did the whole thing, just going back and forth and you know, looking down here and just saying, oh, I can't pull out a highlight right there. I'll go in there and add a little bit more color to it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this, but everything's going to be black and shades of red. Um, but in my mind, I, I see something that attracts the octopus, maybe a fish. So I don't know if it's going to be a complementary color, which means it'll be kind of a greenish color of some kind, maybe right in here or in between here, which would cause an effect of the <laughs> octopus tips of the, the legs to turn green also. Um, but that was kind of one of my thoughts. One of my thoughts was, you know, I have like 10 different directions. I I find out what's happening as time goes on. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the bottom here, uh, but the coral will be more defined. And um, I'm going to still be kind of working the darks and lights of this. And once I get some kind of like... Um, textures on this I'll either go in there and tone down or bring out more highlights and every time I put new layers on here it just gives this creature more dimension um, and you can see it just building up slowly but you can see the textures popping out and once I, I find something that looks like it's popping out I will go back in there and define it and make it even more three-dimensional but it's just a slow long process that's just the way I work and I've often say you know this is the way I work there's so many different techniques um, and whatever works for you this is just my signature of how I paint with watercolors when I paint with acrylics I have a totally different technique um, as I described it before, watercolors is um, watercolors is completely different process. Um, I kind of refer to it as Fred and Ginger painting um, for the people that have some age on them. Fred and Ginger were a dancing couple back in the 30s and 40s, and the way they explained it. Ginger Rogers was more talented than Fred Astaire because not only did she copy everything he did, but she did it backwards and in high heels, which is kind of the way I'm painting. I'm kind of painting in reverse of acrylics. Um, so you're, you're kind of thinking like chess moves ahead. So you're slowly building up things. You're trying to figure out what's making sense. But you can see as I'm moving this brush around, you can see just slowly things are happening. And that's just works for me. Hello, um, I'm Steve Melendres, a model maker, illustrator, scientific illustrator, sculptor, design after history museum in Los Angeles. I've done a lot of different things, um, but I'm gonna be doing watercolor demonstrations of the techniques I've developed over the years. Um, and it's gonna go from a lot of different directions and also, I'm going to be doing videos, uh, I call them video posters for my daughter. So a lot of stuff that I can leave to my daughter about her crazy dad. <laughs> so um, I'm taking a lot of different directions, but mainly three. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction that I'm going to attach to every thing I'm doing now. So I don't have to repeat this. Be careful out there.